Finally today, one of the most unique places you can visit in western New York is Griffiths Sculpture Park. The park is home to more than 250 large-scale sculptures, including steelworks done by its founder and namesake, late artist and entrepreneur Larry Griffiths Jr., who also created the piece you've seen in front of Channel 2, by the way. You'll find this magical gallery tucked into the beautiful natural surroundings of Ashford Hollow Park in East Otto, just outside of Ellicottville. Griffiths Sculpture Park is one of the country's largest and oldest sculpture parks. This weekend, it's welcoming visitors to celebrate its ninth annual summer festival. Franco and I buzz down for the afternoon to learn more from Larry's granddaughter and park executive director, Neela Lampman. We are very excited. It is our ninth annual Griffith Sculpture Park Festival, and we have a fantastic lineup. We are starting with Jim Donovan and the Sun King Warriors. We have PA Line. We have the Sly Boot Circus, Ruby, Mikey Strongman, Isaac Speeth and Friends, and poet Bianca McGraw. So we are very excited to welcome everyone back our second year post-COVID. We have uh, a shuttle that will begin to take people up and to the stage and back down. We will be opening our gates at noon and musical entertainment will start at 1 p.m. We also have a variety of artistic vendors as well as a beer and wine tent and food trucks uh, available for people to enjoy. And we will welcome uh, people back and uh, we will start at 1 p.m. This is such a unique venue, if you can call it that. It's such a great place to explore and just a great collaboration of, of artistry and artists all together. And part of this festival is to keep this place going. And, and how, how important is that? Very important. So this is one of our, we have two main fundraisers that keep the park open for visitors and keep the lawns mowed and everything up and functionable. We also do a lot of uh, sculpture repair during the year, so it, fun, it helps fund a lot of those programs. So this and Nightlights are our two biggest fundraisers and we really pride ourselves on putting on great events for visitors to come and enjoy these special celebrations that are just uh, to help people, encourage them to come out and enjoy. And we also have great um, availability for people to kind of walk around during these special events as well, which is fantastic. And this is something, Neela, for families as well, something for kids. Correct. We love seeing families at this festival. We really strive to make it a special day for the entire family. And a part of that is our children's tent. We offer a free activity that your child can come, enjoy, do, create, and bring home with them at no charge to the visitors. So we're really excited about that. And it's wonderful to see all of these kids flock to this area and come home with their treasured piece of art that they created at our annual festival. And I wanted to ask you about that too, because this was part of your childhood, which I think is so amazing. It was, and I feel beyond blessed and lucky to have had growing up in these fields and running about the trees and playing in the fields and forest, and it really has grounded me in my position here and where I am today. What do you think your grandfather would think of what it's become? Hopefully he's smiling down on us, uh, especially weather-wise, on this Sunday. So if you want more information about what's going on this weekend and the park itself, go to griffithsculpturepark.org. That is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Kate Walshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.